We got a break just because we have a lot of live reads for <laughs> oh, fucking Mother's Day. It. So uh, Doug's going to continue with My us. My mother's dead. Ha ha. <laughs> Mom died, right? When? Oh, yeah, she man. killed herself. It's on the new DVD. Oh, what was that? Did I, did I know that? Uh, I think in I did. 2008, know. there was a statute of limitations before I could tell the whole story. Over. Oh, wow. Like, can you tell us after the break a little bit? Yeah. I, I, oh. Yeah. Finger it a bit. Finger, finger it a bit. All right, I'll Doug will figure that a, a little bit. He's going to be at uh, BB King's here in New York tonight. Yeah. So, what we'll happened to later. your mom? What could you tell us? I, I know you don't oh, want to give away the dying whole bit. She was emphysema. Right. And no. uh, she was a, a lifetime up. smoker? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool, mild. Mm. Back when they made them, and then generics at the end. Mm. Some shitty brand. But yeah, she was drowning in her own fluids. And oh, wow. Yeah. Had to cash out. But she was sober. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know if that was off the air. I, I asked only because you had said that she yeah. was sober, so I was she like was hoping that she was sober. She was sober for like 20-something really years. And then somewhere, I think, 2003, four, whenever the man show was. I found out she had started drinking again, hmm. and uh, she hadn't told me. She was hiding it from me, and then uh, I know it was the man show. We were doing wraparounds for the Comedy Central, the Commie Awards. Remember, they tried oh, to do yeah, yeah, an yeah, award yeah, show, yeah, I do. and we filmed wraparounds on a cruise ship. So I took her on a cruise ship with me. I was working, and she was drunk and gambling. I knew she was drinking, and they flew us first class, which at that point, I've never even... F yeah. Ooh, first class. <laughs> Ooh, big seats. And they had champagne they'd bring out. Oh. Uh, so i like, Ma, you want uh, champagne with me? <laughs> like, so she could... I knew she was drinking, but oh, she didn't like, know I knew. Just stop hiding this, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Sneak it yeah so we got hammered, and it was great, and she just gambled the whole time. A woman who... In in real life, oh, I'm too uh, I'm too tired to bring my fucking groceries upstairs. It's oh, grocery, but you can man. gamble for seventy two hours straight. Like I've <laughs> fallen asleep, passed out, black <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're still at the slot machine. You have that. Yeah, you're, it really is an amazing thing when you're uh, gambling. Uh, you know, round the it's clock. Like cocaine for me. It could just go round the clock. And meanwhile, if I was home, I'd have taken fifty naps already. And uh, but I can if sit I get at a on table. a gambling jag, I really I'll chew through my cheek like I do <laughs> when you do coke, and you're just yeah. jawing. Yep. It's yeah, the exact. Yeah. It has to be the same chemical uh, you know, dopamine uh, uh, or whatever the fuck it is yeah. that your body sends out. Yeah, when it feels good. Fun. I can stay up for fucking four days <laughs> just to beat be, this chink. That'll be a <laughs> <laughs> that'll be a big test if I drink or not Ooh, at a blackjack I think table. That'd be tough because man. let me tell you, I've made some goes pretty together, good right? money. Because I was betting a lot, because I was drunk. Yeah. <laughs> right, but I, can, I, I that would actually be a good rehab. I've tried to figure out my own rehab. If I wanted to quit everything, jet skis. It boils down to jet skis. Really? <laughs> I remember when in, in the early days where I could not imagine going more than 15 minutes without a cigarette. That's why I started taking Xanax on planes to sleep for the entire flight. Because you'd want to torture smoke. to not smoke on a flight. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, but there was a, a time where I was going through Lake Powell in Arizona on my way to Colorado driving, and I had time to kill, and I rented a jet ski by myself for two hours. And I just zipped around. It was great, fucking yeah. late. It was fantastic. Yeah. And I go, I never wanted a cigarette once. For two hours, I never thought, oh, I gotta stop jet ski. <laughs> I have a cigarette. Right. And that's the, 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 the nebulous. The, if you wanted to quit something and not think about it, well, what is it about jet skiing? Like that whole, what is it about that headspace? And how do you make that right, into something right. that you, you just got jet do, ski eight yeah. hours a day? Or just make people stay on the water all the time. Yeah, they yeah, smoke yeah. and get wet. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, just fucking plan some kind of heist like Heat with Robert De Niro. <laughs> they didn't, oh, fuck, yeah, I'm going to shoot out with the cops and Kevlar. I need a cigarette. Yeah, you're not thinking about it. You would think that. That's a time you would want a cigarette, Probably. but they didn't think about that. No, Those no. guys that actually did the heat heist in right. L.A. Yeah. with the Kevlar helmets That's and an shit. That's an amazing scene. Uh, it's so fucking fantastic. I need to they know how, I need to know how your, I bet they were smokers. I need to know how your mom killed herself. Oh, yeah, her, well, uh, pills. She, did, she went with the pills. Yeah, right? Morphine. It's, oh wow! I, I don't want, like. It's one of those stories where you don't want to do the bit, but the bit is the story. Right, right, right. I think it's just an interesting story. Well, I'm happened? sure. Well, she was. She knew it was time, and we knew she was going to get to a point. She wouldn't stop smoking. In fact, we had quit smoking for almost a year at wow. that point, and we 
we're, we had a last cigarette with mother. <laughs> with <laughs> mother? she was killing herself. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, <laughs> Wait, were you around when she did it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I was around. Again, there's legalities where you go, okay, right, right, right. hey, this is a bit, by the way. It's just comedy. Oh, sure, sure. Okay. Yeah, you, you don't know. Well, let's just say this. Were you, were you shocked she, that she, she took pills, she or maybe a, did you suspect no, she was no, well, well, no. Well, no, yeah. you have to <laughs> yeah. help some people move. <laughs> some, yeah. Someone's going to move, and you have a pickup truck. you got to help. Someone's your mother. They're going to kill themselves. You have to like do some research. I didn't buy her a shotgun. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want I didn't to clean that up. Resist the suicide so much as bar back it because at that point, <laughs> that's where we were. She was, uh, f she had been four years sober at the end. She went off, oh, good. and she went. She again, an ugly drunk. Like she left a suicide, not even a note, but a post-it. We had a, we moved to Arizona. Holy I said, shit. Ma, we're gonna get settled in. We'll move you out. She can't be in L.A. by herself. She was like. She was 63. Her head was around. She just, her body was failing. Yeah, she was yeah. weak emotionally. So uh, she called up at like a month and a half after we moved to Arizona, like warbly drunk. I don't take it. I don't want to buy my burden. I'm going to kill myself. So we have to drive nine and a half hours to L.A. Oh, in the middle of the night, get God. there in the morning. She had a suicide post-it. Doug, I still have it. Doug, pain is too much. Wow. <laughs> Not That's even it. a whole letter. <laughs> wow. Uh, so wow. We got her, yeah. So we get her out there. We So she rehabbed. But when she was going to kill herself, I'm going, you're not going to do this sober. right? <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. You're ready to make this choice. I'll, uh, you know, I'll tie one on. That. Uh, yeah. She's fucking drowning alive. The, how the how did she tell you she was going to kill herself? Was it a phone call? No, it was. Uh, we know what's going to happen. She, she's either going to die or kill herself. Right. Because right. she'd been life flighted to Tucson twice where they put a, like a suction thing into your lungs. Yeah. She was so addicted to painkillers at that point that when I went to see her, I had one time we had to fly back from Costa Rica. They go, your mom's been life flighted. The first time, and I went to see her at, at TMC, and uh, she's got the thing down in her lungs. She can't talk. There's a tube in her fucking mouth, and she writes down Vicodin. And I'm like, Jeez. what am I going to put him in the tube? And she nods. Like, that's not what? really an option. Wow. Holy fuck. And she's, uh, she was not as stupid. You've met my mother. Yeah, she, was, she was lovely. Yeah, she's... She, fucking, was in, she was in Vail the first time yeah, you met her. She's a fucking crazy truck driver mouth. Everyone thought she's adorable. Oh, your mother swears yeah. like a truck driver. <laughs> it's adorable. I remember a fucking quote from her at Vail, and uh, I think you were at the table. She always called you. She, he's like my son. I told him. One time, yeah, Ma. It's like he doesn't remember you. That was fucking 15 years ago. Oh, wow. she, oh James Inman. He's like my son. Yes, Ma. She, uh, I, you and I shared a room, and uh, you had all of your possessions. That's my my my, my most defining <laughs> mem right. memory of Doug is Doug with his, all of his possessions. On his bed, like he wouldn't put I anything. Lived on, I didn't on have him. a home. I lived out of my car. So, yeah, you bring your wow. shit in. Wow, it's, it's just bring it's it in everything <laughs> indoors, but not even in the drawers. Yeah, it was just all just on laid the out. Bed. Yeah, wow, that is <laughs> a fast ninety-five. Nest. That's a fascinating story with your mom. That's amazing. And then you guys were around that actual day, or yeah, yeah. Well, she came to the house, and we I I laid down ground rules, uh, and this is in the bit, but it's true. I said because she had balked at suicide so many times over her life, just you know for uh, need for someone to hey I'm gonna I, 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 she tried to kill herself like with aspirin or whatever when she was young she'd talk about, but uh, so. I know it's serious, but at the same time, is this a ploy just to get sure. over to my house from your hoarder paradise <laughs> in the other side of Bisbee, Arizona? And so I said, uh, if you're going to kill yourself for real, uh, you can't do it Sunday or Monday because that's football. It's an actual conversation. <laughs> it's a conversation. Just, like, yeah, if you can you call your own time to leave yeah, this fucking world, you rules. don't do it during someone right. else's party on purpose just to be a dick. Right. Uh, and you have to do it two weeks from now because that's when my manager is coming down and he has no sense of humor about, oh, your mother's going to kill yourself. <laughs> so you, so I, I gave her a, a time period. Otherwise, uh -huh. you go back to... And yeah, she killed herself. It was Thursday. She came in. She killed herself on the Saturday night. We watched Bad Santa together. Favorite movie. And uh, 
She choked down 90 morphine tablets, and the details are... Wow. Yeah, and, and we made up white Russians. So she's choking them down with white Russians. We had a party. We fucking roasted her. We made fun of her. We made it into a goof. It was the most Jesus. beautiful death. Like, you know... Ma, wait, they found a cure. It's, a, it's one of the jokes, but it was an actual quote. <laughs> Holy and she's like giving us the finger, uh, like laughing. Uh, Holy shit, I'm blown away. between I was a bad mother and then just laughing. And it was, yeah. It was what did a, you think the minute th that she shut down? Like when she yeah. finally closed her eyes and you knew it was done? Well, <laughs> it's, it's funny because we kind of shut down before she did completely. Oh, you passed out at <laughs> a fucking 83 pound, 63 year old woman fucking drank us under the table <laughs> where, uh, where she, she's, uh, she was gone, but she was still breathing. And right, like, right. And then we start playing music, which she hated music, but she's not there. She's not bitching about it. She's too right. far gone. So we crank up some Counting Crows. Fuck you. I like them. <laughs> you do like the Counting Crows. Yes. Huh? And so, uh, yeah, then we just like... We're, we're, then who do you call? There's so many questions here. I don't know. Problem. I don't know I, what I mean, you want to talk the about. The part is my mother at 63 had pushed so many... She hadn't... My, we called my brother while she was doing it so she could say goodbye he knows it's gonna happen well okay it's actually happening she calls my brother <laughs> goodbye and uh there was no one else to call she but i mean oh, wow. so many people out of her life by being such a miserableist that there was mm. nobody how do you how are you 63 years old and you die and I, uh, there was no obituary or gravestone we gave her body to science whatever fucking you know, institution has the program where you don't have... Because I'm not fucking burying someone. It's dumb. <laughs> Paxton, Massachusetts. Except the for... fucking Boston bomber. We have a, a plot for you. Plug. So, <laughs> wait, wait. my plug. I, I plug Doug Stanhope Celebrity Death Pool dot com, right. please. That's another whole story. Most fun I've ever had gambling. But that's... Doug Stanhope, go find that. And, yeah. Bomber wait, 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 wait. So, go. now your mom's dead. So, who you call the next day? Oh, to, to, to yeah. take care of the I don't know business. what you want to talk the about. So well, you shut it. me down anytime no, you no, want. No, this is, no, these, these are, the, the, like, the story is so detailed that when I tried to make it into a bit, it was just, all right, now there's 20 minutes of you talking about your dead mother. <laughs> Get to the point. Uh, but that was one of the funny things. Bingo, that w she came to our house, and they set up a hospital bed in hospice care, set up a hospital bed in the living room. So, And I had a friend that would change her catheter when I... Uh, because I'm not touching my mother's vagina. Right. I, no. I don't have. Oh, no. I gave birth to you. Well, I didn't ask you to. Yeah, so yeah. I yeah you, I'll get someone to do Plus, it. Plus, who needs to fucking realize at that moment, like, wow, this is fantastic. <laughs> Eight point two percent unemployment rate in Cochise County. I can find someone to fucking change a foley bag. A foley bag. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so when she's gone, but she's still like breathing. Oh, she's breathing, but she's gone. But she's breathing. And then oh, wow. we've been drinking white Russians with her. And we'd already taken Xanax before she decided it's time to go. Uh -huh. And we're like, oh, fuck. Finally, we pass out. And a caretaker called the the paramedics. Of, a hospice patient has died. The paramedics came in and tried to take Bingo's body. Because she's passed out on the couch. <laughs> we have an L-shaped couch. So I'm on one side of the L. She's on the other. Right. My mother's in a hospital bed. And they go directly to Bingo thinking she's a corpse. Holy and, shit. And Holy I don't want to say shit. her name, but our, the caretaker is like, um, it's her. And they, they were outside like like in like sheer blushing embarrassment that they accidentally went for the a living girl. Yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. No, I'm sorry, I was, was going to Anyway, ask. caretaker stayed up through the night till she was dead. Well, we were just like, all right, I'm tired of waiting for it. I'll crash. She'll be dead at some point. I'll wake up. Jeez. So we woke up to the paramedics taking right. her out. And, but emphysema would have been, like, that's why Kevorkian, I mean, it was it, oh, you're drawing, merciful. You're drawing your own that fluids. Would have been a, yeah. What exactly does it, I mean, I know it's, it's like being just, waterboarded. Yeah. It just oh. stops your lungs from, from working? or it, from They the, can't pump the you, fluids anymore. You can breathe, but there's no oxygen getting into your system. Right. Yeah, just gums up your fucking... Edema, well, right? I guess... The, I, uh, I think I it's officially a demon. But it's an awful death. My dad was he my dad was heading that way, and he ended up, ended up dying in a car accident. But he was heading toward you know drowning in his own. That's fluids. what I'm hoping for: car accident. Because your, your heart your heart's too weak to pump out everything. 
<coughs> and you start getting mm. swollen and all that shit. Yeah, it's horrible. Are horrible way man. to go, man. I quit ten years ago. I'm, I fucking, I just had a moment of clarity on the radio show, and fucking, I went down the comedy cellar. We were still smoking back then, and Esty, who ran the cellar, I'm like, I'm gonna quit smoking, and she marched me to the fucking thing and got me the patch. And uh, if for some reason, it, I, I did it the, the way the patch suggested over 21 days, and it worked. Like, I just drank a lot of fucking water, and I put some weight on, but I'm fucking really You're, you're really mm. good at following directions. Sometimes, I, <laughs> you know what? With some things I really am, with other things I've been absolutely atrocious. The things yeah. I followed directions on, believe, you know, miraculously, they worked. And I stopped doing <laughs> the things I did it my way. Well, I'm still spending, you know, fucking three grand a week on fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. No directions Is with it? them.